Group 2 Golden Pendant over the 1400 metres. And look, the girls here, Mike, it didn't take Ronnie Quinton too long before his Glamour Girls, Dixie and Daisy, came up against each other. They're second up here after solid fresh runs. And well, these two fought out the finish last year, so can they do it again? Oh, I hope so. They're such reliable mares. He loves them. We love him. They, they're two of the most popular mares in yeah. Sydney, aren't they? Group 2, 1400 metres. A fair to steady tempo, a couple going forward, a smaller field, like we said, good fall conditions, it might even be firmer. And watch for an off-rails bias. Two weeks ago, you remember, it was a heavy track at Rose Hill Gardens, and they chopped up the inside. OK, let's have a look at the market now for the first leg of the Quaddy Mike and Champagne Cuddles. Well, the punters do like this horse. $4.80, prompt response there, $5.00. Dixie Blossoms, one of, one of Ronnie's two there, $5.50. Invincibella, $5.50 there. Daisy Doom, $7. Not a bad first up run. And a bit of money here for Shamook, $13 into the $9 for Gay and Adrian. But Mike, Champagne Cattle's just on top, but this is a really open race to uh, start the quaddy. It's Sydney, Mares. It's an open <laughs> market. It's an open race, and it's going to be a blanket finish. <laughs> we know We're going to take you back a few months to have a look at a replay and see these mares in action and see how close they can get. This is none other than the Group 1 race, the Coolmore. Daisy Doom doing it tough on pace. Prompt response doing it tougher, three wide, no cover. Dixie Blossoms in behind in the pink stew. You talk about a blanket finish, these mares. So many of our favourites, <laughs> isn't there? You've got Dixie, Daisy, Silence Edition here. Name them all. Everyone's got one of their favourites in this yeah, race. Yeah, you back Silence Edition, <laughs> stew. so I'll put you through some punishment <laughs> watching this replay again. Look, they're figuring out Daisy Doom, aren't they? She's tough on pace. She likes to do it the tough way. So does Prompt Response. But prompt response is first up on Saturday. Daisy Doom's fitter, second up. OK, well, look, another... Well, we saw a bit of prompt response there. So let's go back to February here, as we often do on Key Factors. We're going back in time. Importantly, Mike, this is a Group 2. Yeah, Group 2, and this is the first up run of prompt response. A couple of starts back in, back in the autumn. Before that start, we just look at. She was on pace. She was about five, six bucks in the market. And she really came of age as preparation last prep, prep, tough, on pace, nothing to chase, and she came away from them, Stu. It really knows how to find the line, this horse. Really, really solid. Good win. Mike, there's a look at a couple of replays. Now we're going to get stuck into all the analysis, so take the viewers through it. We've got the form and the key factors to get stuck into. Yeah, you can almost accelerate right to the finish and see a blanket finish, but let's <laughs> go through the motion, starting with form. Dixie Blossoms at the weights, and Invincibella after a first up run. They get the gold bar for form, but not too much between them. OK, so Dixie and Invincibella there as we kick the race off with key factors. Mike, it's all about progression. Yeah, looking for progression. Prompt response. Look, she's good first up, but coming back to a first up run over 1,400 metres, maybe slightly iffy. Princess Posh, not too much more improvement in this preparation, but lots of others can improve this prep. All right, plenty of gold there. Distance at stage of preparation? Yeah, not too much going on here, so we can move through the gears quite quickly. <laughs> OK, still Dixie and Invincibella out in front. Track condition, Mike, a little bit of rain missed Rose Hill. Yeah, dry Rose Hill, who likes it. We just saw the Coolmore, prompt response ran well, Daisy Doom ran well. No surprise to see them with gold bars, Jim. OK, Daisy Doom just sticking her neck out in front here, Mike. Position in run, who gets the gun run? Yeah, looking for ones with a gun run. We've kind of gone from draws three to almost the outside. The outside draws and the inside draws went off for hours by. It's getting a bit complex there. <laughs> we haven't given them gold. Champagne cuddles, Barry one, you think it's a good draw but maybe if they're off rails, not so good. OK, all that analysis, Mike. Plenty of gold there to finish it off. Time for a bet in the race. We've said so many of these mares. It's going to be a blanket finish. <laughs> I'm not expecting too much here in terms of the final rating. So let's have a look, get these prices back up. Time for a bet, Mike. Daisy Doom. I saw her just edge ahead there, just a length. $7, great each way value. Prompt response, we saw the replays there. Dixie Blossoms. I mean, is this telling us Ronnie's not far away here? Yeah, we think Ronnie each way has got to be the play, but we're terrified of prompt response first up. We're terrified of Dixie Blossoms on that weight and of course Champagne Cuddles can kick up and cause a fuss and maybe beat our horse Daisy Doom but Daisy Doom's tough Daisy Doom's reliable she's got a fantastic barrier yep. door they'll push up they'll make prompt, prompt response work and we think she might be tougher late. All right, so Daisy Doom in the first leg each way for us. Let's have a look now at the second leg, Mike.